Alright, we are back with our continuation of the Final Fantasy 2 Let's Play. Uh, we had just returned to Altair and had returned the Mithril, so um, we've already talked to Hilda. She had mentioned her father, so we're going to go talk to the king. Uh, let's see, King's Chambers, I think we're over here. Yep, there he is, there's Menno. The King's illness goes far beyond the physical. There's little I can do. The Dreadnought's mess, uh, okay. No, I knew about Mithra, okay. So many perished in the Dreadnought's attack. Perhaps it would be best if we surrendered to the Empire. No one knows more about airships than Sid. Oh, how men change. He was once a fine knight, though. Okay, so... Let's go re-talk to Hilda. I don't think there's anything over here that I've missed. I think I got everything I could. Yeah. Any lives were taken in the Dreadnought's attack. Now let's go show the king the pass, maybe? I guess I need to go talk to Sid. Okay. Um, I don't think there was anything weapon-wise, even with the the mithril upgrade that we could utilize here. Is it this guy who sells them? Yeah, so, I mean, yes, the Mithril Knife technically is an upgrade. Somehow. Just in the accuracy. There's no doubt. Yeah. Um, but we're not using Mesa's Spears or Knives. Okay. So, we need to return. See, and pull them apart. battle this one out. Probably should have rested. Looking at my HP. Tyrion's getting closer and closer to four for sword and shield. Maria's halfway with bow. And Guy is about a third of the way with or about a quarter of the way with his axes. I think if I let Furion just take them all out, his sword would probably increase. If I get into another battle of three, maybe I'll do that. Uh, first things first, let's go heal. This place does have weapons. Did they get an upgrade with the Mithril? two guys in here, so maybe. Mithril bow and an axe. Uh, guys were using a mithril axe, so we can get the bow. We're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to equip Maria with this mithril bow. It's an increase of 8 damage. Can't do all of those, can she? No, okay. So we're gonna 
Get rid of some stuff here. I just don't need any more. I basically paid for Maria's bow. A couple gill shy of that. Um, I think we got all the magic we could here. Sure. Protect. Blank and shell. Yes. Okay. So. Just taking a shortcut to get back to the guy. Yes. Going to Poff. So this is Palum. Bloom. Sail to Poff and talk to Sid. We were attacked by the Dreadnought. They're dead. They're all dead. How about you guys? Do you guys have any new weapons over here that I haven't already gotten? Okay, so you guys have the same stuff that pa uh, Pollen did. I think even magic's the same, isn't it? Why would he want a copper shield? Alright, let's go talk to Sid. There he is. You want the airship? You pay the guy behind me. Or ask him about the dreadnought. What you want to do is blow up that thing's engine. Do that and you can bring the whole overgrown tub. Bring down the whole overgrown tub. Airships are powered by Sunfire. I'm sure the Dreadnought's no different. So we're gonna learn Sunfire. Let's talk about Sunfire. Controlling Sunfire is a tricky business. Let the flames get too high, you gotta run away on your hands. The engine will blow sky high. Okay. Do we know where... I mentioned another city earlier. Basque. Uh, let's fly there. Hello. We're going to try to get uh, Furion's sword level up here. Hopefully... Ow. Oh yeah, he has to do a little next, isn't he? Bring attack one more time and the other two defend. And that should bring up. Yes, so we're at four for sword and shield. We can rest in bass. Right, right. No fun airship music? So we are now at the city of Basque. The Dreadnought, we're doomed. They finished the Dreadnought, the world we know is over. You have to tell Princess Hilda that the Dreadnought's been completed. She may know how to stop it.
Well, it's just a sanctuary. I wish these were marked. The Dreadnought is headed for Poft. Maybe it's already too late. Uh, definitely. Any cool stuff in here? That's a negative. You guys do sell magic. Any new spells? Fear, Vasuna, Asuna, and Silence. Well, we've already got Asuna. And we have just enough to pick up the other three. So we're going to give Fear. Silence. And Maria. And Basuda to a Maria. Alright. What do you gotta say for yourself? You should talk to Sid. He might know what the Dreadnought weakness is. I already did. I come here for nothing. I have no gold. I don't know why I'm walking in there. There's nothing left to do in that. I mean, we've already been here technically. This is how we got to. Yeah, we, we did all that. Okay, so. We did pick up a new keyword, and they said to ask Hilda about it. Oh, it's gonna be a long trick. Alright. Guess we'll get some gold on the way back. Let's just auto this one. These guys aren't too terribly scary. Poison's the worst part. Strength. We got a lot of gold and potion. Heal and potion. Whoa, 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 whoa. That poison last? It must be venom. Good to know. So it's a little bit more kind than uh than the first game when it comes to that. Because you could definitely just get poisoned right out the gate. Oh, I probably don't have enough skill. I do to sail. Yes. about this sunfire.
Okay. What does Sun fire me to you, Hilda? It's the crest of the kingdom of Kashwin. Its flame still burns on the ground floor of Kashwin Keep. Scott and Gordon have told me many stories concerning the flame. The finer points of the tale are not known to me. However, I seem to recall that the flame could not be held in just any torch. Sid told us we might be able to use Sunfire to destroy the Dreadnought. When there's no time to waste, you must depart for Kashu and Keep at once. If you hire Sid's airship, the journey should not take long. I lose only one question. What can you use to bring the Sunfire back? Um, well, let's go talk to... Let's see if the king has anything to say about Sunfire. But, uh, Gordon who's outside. Scott sealed the gates of the Cashman Key to protect the Sunfire in the event they were defeated in battle. You will need the Goddess's spell to break the seal. I learn that. The whereabouts of the bell are only known to the Cashman Royal family. Oh, well. Do you have anything to say about Sunfire? Every three years they celebrate a festival of the flame in Cashman. During the festival, the Sunfires move to the. Well, rather. Word. What? He's moved to Eggle's Torch, where its brazier is clean. Cleanse. If I don't get to learn that word. Gordon would know where the bell is kept, but I have not seen him lately. Someone close to Scott or Gordon may know where to find it. Um, so let's go talk to Hilda. She was close. My father's condition has improved a great deal, thanks to Minwu. I've heard Scott and Gordon mention the bell. The gates of Cashwin keep only open to the voice of a Cashwin or the ringing of that bell. The bell rests deep within a cavern on the snow plains and will not be easy to retrieve. So it is your intention to enter that snow cavern. Very well. If only Gordon were here. There would need be no need for you to risk such a danger. But he isn't, so you must. There is nothing I can do but pray for your success. Joseph knows the snow plane like the back of his hand. You should seek his counsel. Okay, so we're then going to Salamons. Uh, let's see. There we go. Um. Oh, I didn't notice that in the bottom left you can uh, see what items are, uh, what kind of shops are in each place, and you can also see how many chests are in each spot. Interesting. Oh, so Salmon is all the way up there. We really need the gill. I know I could boat, but I think we're gonna hook it. Just to get this gill we need. So yeah, we're going to hoof this. With this auto battle, it shouldn't be too terribly difficult. Which is since none of these creatures really are too threatening. Something I haven't really talked too much about at this point 
um, that I can while we're doing this long trek would be the uh, level ups. Uh, I know I talked about you have the unique system, but one of the, the things that definitely draws me away from it from the first game is that there's so many stat increases just all the freaking time. Um, we didn't see one there, but come up here, we'll probably get another one here. Oh, no, no one there. Yeah, now this game's making a liar out of me. But yeah, we've been seeing it throughout here, we should definitely get one out of this. Let's go through all these guys. I wonder if I should equip Fury with two swords. But anyway, so, we got through that battle, and there's still that one. But you just get the little ones, like, you know, there's, well, this time you get health, this time you got agility, this time this person got strength, and the next time this person got strength. And it's just, none of the level ups really seem as big of a deal like they did in previous games. Or the previous game, I should say. Um, that is one complaint I have about the the leveling system in this game. Again, I love the idea of it and the fact that, oh, well, you use swords, you become more adept to using swords. Makes total sense. Uh, you know, oh, you don't use it, you've never picked up an axe before, and you, you know, this axe is five million times more powerful than that sword you've been using. Well, guess what? That axe is not going to do as much damage because you're not as used to using it. It works. It makes sense. It just wasn't fleshed out that well. Alright. Come back in here and talk to Joseph. Let's talk to his daughter first. What does she know? Thanks for saving me. You're welcome. Move out of my way. Thank you. Look, you managed to save my daughter. Thank you. That cowardly Borgen had been threatening Nelly to get to me. Forgive me, if there's anything I can do, all you gotta do is ask. Alright, so we're gonna ask him about the Sunfire. Nothing. Ask him about the Goddess Spell. The only way to reach the Snow Cavern is on my Snowcraft. I keep the Snowcraft hidden in the mine. There's a blue stone on the first floor that marks the spot. Look behind the stone and get to, and to the right. There's a secret room there and the Snowcraft is inside. I'm sorry I couldn't help you find the Mithril. So I want to make up for that by pitching in now. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Joseph, join the party. So we're looking for that uh, blue stone that I assumed was a giant piece of Mithril last time. Okay. So we have to go back to the Senate Falls. So I got HP. And that was it. Just HP. So this is what I'm talking about. Like I said, I mean, again, for example, is earlier I made the comment like, oh, you know, this this battle it's this, and this battle this person gets this. You might start seeing it now because we're starting to hit that threshold again where we're getting you know, stat increases. There we go, so here we go. Fearing gets HP and strength. That's actually two things. Guy who just got HP last time, now all of a sudden is getting strength. Joseph gets strength. It's just, these happen so often, I've been kind of flying by them. Um, just because of how often they happen, they just don't hold the same weight as, as a level up from that first game. Maria just got HP. You know, again, when you got those level ups in the first game, like there was a there was an increase. You you saw that increase, you felt that increase, and this just happens so often that it just really feels like the level ups are just nothing. Oh, it's okay. The purple poison, that's venom. Venom is what sticks around, apparently. 
So we need to cure that. Since I do need to make sure I am buying it. I'm gonna go ahead and have Furion do a quick little cure session here. Joseph smokes that soldier. Alright, there's the blue stone. Sasquatch. Dead. Now, aha, uh -huh. so here's how you get the map to appear in here. Um, or you could just hmm. So, before I was trying to get the map to show up like I did in the previous one, you just had to press the start to cycle through, uh, hold select, and uh the X button on this game, and now I can see everything. Well, that makes things a little bit easier. So here's that blue stone, so we go behind and to the right is what Joseph had said. There. Joseph turns a small rock, jutting out of the wall, and a passage appears. Snowcraft is in here. Apparently there's a dude standing right in the doorway. You retrieve the snow craft from the chest. Alright, so... We now have all 11 chests out of that. Now Finn, I don't think we could get them all yet. So I'm not worried about that, but looking through the rest... Uh, doing pretty good on chests here. Now we gotta hightail it all the way back to Salamond. That's why you would hide a snowcraft here when the snow is directly to the north of you. I don't know. But whatever. So, we like just be down? No. That'd be fun. It'd be too easy. don't think we can... Now look at the map here. We might be able to take that river up and around. Let's try it. Worst that happens is we get more gold and I would say experience, but... Skill ups? Oh, we got an antidote. Sweet. Uh, I do... Oh, I do want to stop in Salamon for that crap. Why I'm gonna have to double back. Yeah, that's a shame. Ambushed. So I have yet to encounter any water enemies. So I'm assuming you don't, well, uh, encounter them. All right, we got four antidotes, but we do have. We do have Asuna and uh, Basuna, so I think we might be okay to not run back. Uh, let's look at the map here. It does look like we can enter the snow fields up here, because the snow is to the north, so... Ambushed by all these bees. Who's getting venom? Joseph's hands level. Guy got some HP, Joseph got some HP and stamina. Okay, so let's antidote that up. I probably should get a second cure spell from Maria. Yeah. 
The other two we're not going to worry about. Yeah, I, I don't feel like magic is... I mean, yes, we're at the traditional MP system of magic, but um, the you, you don't get a, a, a tremendous amount of MP, so I don't feel like it's... Oh, wow. A little snowcraft there. Okay. Let's just fight these guys through. I'm pretty sure I could probably just fire them at this point, but... Looks like a boat on wheels. Some decent gold out of this. There's the fire. Let's be Did not mean to auto attack. Job, Joseph. Just looking for this guy. This must be it. Got a little bit of gold back. Snow cavern. So let's cheat this out a little bit here. Let's check. All right, we got two chests here. We could also do this, I guess, and we could go... Oops, maybe. Which maps? Well, there are 13 chests in here and one item. More snowmen. Good hits. 
Um, isn't that what the... What's the Deadly Bears? Are Deadheads? Is that the Jerry and Garcia? That's what the fans are called. IHP, Joseph HP. Monies. Something I just thought about. We have not saved in a hot minute. Now, I'm trying to avoid using the quick save feature. Um, I feel like that's a little cheeky. Um, now, when I get to the Final Fantasy III Pixel Remaster, I might use that for Crystal Tower, because that place is stupid. Um, but. My goal is to avoid using it at all, if at all possible. We're going to pop out and save real quick, and then we'll continue through this uh, snow cavern. Just auto battle through at this point. You know, I never felt like auto battle was necessary in the first game, but fighting this one has just become so tedious, I feel like it is. Alright, so let's... Um do a quick little heal up on Maria. And here. Right, save. Outside the snow cavern, and then we're going to go back in and continue the snow cavern here. Alright, now that we've saved, let's head back into the cave. So the first floor should be cleared out. Yes. Keep going. More dead heads. Our weapon skills for the most part have stalled out. Just till we start getting into some more difficult monsters. Oh, I guess it's not selecting B or X, it's just X, which... Hey look, open close map, it's right there. That one just controls the mini-map only. How about that? Helps if you read it. We have stairs and a door. Does doesn't look like we can go through the door. I mean, I'm not crazy. That's a door right there, right? Maybe it has something to do with later. All right, so. I got a door up there. We've got three chests down below that will act with us. Assuming if I'm going down, I'm going... Oh, those are both downs, it looks like. Will we fall at some point? A zombie and a ghoul. Why wouldn't it be? Maria and Joseph being close to their weapons leveling up. So I guess we have to go down.
chest over here to the left and go up over there. So we're going to need to go up before we go down, probably. The addition of the map helps tremendously. I know some people have given grief to the auto battle system, and I was one of the, you know, I made the comment that, eh, I wasn't too big on it for the first one, but for this version of the game, or for Final Fantasy II at least, where the battles are just feel monotonous to me, um, I don't mind it. So... I feel like it's a welcome addition to, to the second game. As I was saying, the first game, you kind of take it or leave it. I never really used it. Unless I, unless I accidentally um, had uh, clicked the auto battle button. Big hit the Joseph there. You know, we probably should give everyone a cure spell. Just as the what if scenario. And guy will clean it up. So those do both go back down. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so now we can go down and get these three treasure chests. Kill these grenades before they blow. a decrease, that's right, so I already got a battle axe. So that's just a straight toss away. Yeah, this is not one of those games where, again, I mentioned this earlier, where you find a new type of weapon and just straight switch over to it. Um, especially if you've put levels into the other one, because you are hindering yourself. Which, again, some people complain about, and it, but it makes sense to do this. Now what? I've been trained in how to use swords, and all of a sudden I pick up an axe, I'm not going to be as uh, proficient with it as I would the sword. But many other RPG RPG type games, you are. A rookie treasure hunter. Okay, we're going to mass cast this. Hopefully avoid as many self-destructs as possible. Hopefully Maria finishes them off here. Yes. Something good? Mithril Mace. Now see, you know, Mace, what does that classify as? Staff. You know, I figured that'd be something really good in there, but not so much. Oh no, I didn't mean to... Crap. Oh, what a waste of energy. Make sure that when you auto-battle, the auto-battle picks what you did before, so, um, watch out for that. Should have gotten all the chests here we have. We're gonna try to beeline it.
all the battles. I mean, listen, the only grinding I did was to really just bring everybody up to level 3 with the magic and weapons I had initially bought. So, the fact that stuff's running from me already, you don't need to grind, apparently, in this game. At least at the beginning levels. Two chests above, two chests below. We'll get the two chests above, get the two chests below, and then we'll check the door and then the stairs. Lots of ghouls. Looking on hell. Oh, well, it's like Joseph's fifth slump. Um, let's go ahead and heal Joseph. A blizzard town. Um, I'll give it to Guy just because he barely has anything. Even though I probably won't have him using it. Almost 300 there. Ocean. Maria's at level 4 with her bow. Everybody's at least 4. Spear, which we will just be chucking literally. Right, grenades are everywhere. The more concerning. Check out the room first. We do have all the chests, right? 
How are we looking on chests in general? Okay, three more left. Just a trap room. Just a trap room. There's one, two, and we got two doors. Okay, so we will check the chest up top and the door on the left. We'll just peek in, assuming it's going to be a trap room. Then we will. Uh, no, 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 no. And then we'll hit the chest below in the room on the right. Again, assuming that chest room or the first room is a trap. Thunder and fire leveled up. So they should be level 4 now. He means about to play for cure after this. He does. Uh, really needs some more MP. No, 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 no. There's a mistake right there. We're going to switch over to full attack. Alright, so where's the chest is down bottom left? Alright, so I've got three casts of cure. I like the grenades were ready to mass kill things quickly before they decided to self destruct themselves. An ancient sword. Sword that invokes an ancient curse. I'm not gonna mess with that. More stat increases. I stop running when I get closer to the doors because I always run past him and then get that extra step in to cause a fight.
what do we have here? Snoop chit. Snoop chit. Snoop chit. Snoop chit. Giant beavers. Snoop chit. Snoop chit. Snoop, snoop chit. Uh-oh. I speak beaver. Dude, you've been holding back. You've never told us this. You speak beaver. Holy crap, dude. Alright, so we're going to ask him about the goddess's bill, because that's why we came here. Secret passage in wall to right. Monster guard bell. Bell in wall. Is that sunfire? Nope. Nope. Airship. Mithril. Bob Rose. Show him the snowcraft. So again, it should be over to the right. Right? From wall to right. Monster guards the bell. Bell in wall. Oh, it's already marked over here. Okay. Let's... Got one more chest and one more item. There's the chest. So we're going to go over, around, up to the bottom. So we'll pass it, getting to the stairs we need to get to, or the door we need to get to. point our stuff's done leveling until we can get to some harder monsters or a boss at this point which is what we're coming up on at least i'm assuming but as important of an item as this is it's not gonna be just a regular monster that guards this thing we'll see what a monster we've got in store joseph's just racking up the hp here yeah all right, we're gonna potion these up. It's a turtle. Is it an animal's voice? I would assume. Have they been given that name yet in the series? I don't think they were in the first one. Got so equip that. So that should now be all the chests. So we just got an item which should be the god spell. That's an adamant voice guarding the bell. Stay on your toes. In previous games, they were weak to ice. We get some nice little Indian inspired music here. Alright. Um I don't want really to use that. We're gonna have her protect us. Uh, you just go ham. Uh, we just get an Antarctic Wind. 
go for it. Uh, under it. Blizzard it. Punch it. This punching is actually doing something. He is with ice. That's probably why you get the anarchic wind there. Cool. Just keep doing what you're doing. Sword jump good spot. Well, we've got enough potions. We have enough potions that I guess can have Fury and Blizzard in step. That's why they give you the anarchic wind. That's kind of the, uh, the intent. Getting some stat increases here. There's the bell. There's something set in the wall. It's the goddess's bell. Do -do 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 -do. You've obtained the goddess's bell. And we can exit. This must be where the door was at the bottom there. Yep. So it's a shortcut back to the beginning. Let's see how close are No. Okay. Now we gotta go all the way around. Double check and make sure we indeed get everything. Yep. Okay. Uh. What's up, dude? Get Morgan. Curses, you've already gotten to the goddess's bell. First you ruined my standing with the Emperor, and now this. The Emperor will never forgive me for messing this up. If I ever go back to the Empire, he'll have my head. But I'm still a soldier. I'm going to die, you're coming with me. Mm. Magic him up. Just kidding. It. Okay. Speed bump, apparently. We just straight walk around his body. <laughs> I may have lost, but don't think that you've won. I've booby-trapped this cave. Just a little parting gift from me to you. I'll be waiting for you in hell. Urgh. See you in Indiana Jones. Run! Damn it. Go on, get out. We not leave you. I can't hold it much longer. Run! It's up to you now, Furion. My sweet Nelly. Joseph! He did. Let's be smart. Save. Got over 12,000 gil. Oh. Red. Next up. 
Don't auto till you change the attack type. Oh, had a little stutter there, it was kind of weird. Couple of the stutters. Turn back to Salomon to tell Nelly about her father. And his wife. He never really mentions his wife. I'm assuming that's his wife. Not Nelly, but the woman outside his hut. Swiss cheese and everything at this point. First thing, we're going to grab a couple of some of these things just to have them. We're going to grab a cottage. Check in over here. No, not Joseph. Don't let Joseph's death be in vain. Vain, I think I said vain. Joseph's dead, isn't he? Yes. Oh, what's this person up here have to say? Here there's a weird bird like creature called a chocobo living in the forest south of Catchman Keep. We get chocobos in this game, that's right. Poor Joseph. I'll look after Nelly in his place. I know that would make him happy. Daddy. Daddy isn't coming back, is he? It's kind of that. Step out and save. And just in case we're gonna create a new save file. Alright, well we are gonna bring this to a stop here. So it looks like the next place we need to head to is the Cashman Keep. Um, 
So we'll probably go back to Sid and have him just take us there for the first time just to see exactly where it's at. Um, so if you like what you saw, leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.